Still playing with the Kittenbot IO bit, this extension expansion board for the micro bit. And I have hooked up an LCD array. This is a 1602, which means 16 characters, two lines um, to it. And it went off because the interesting thing was certain power packs, if they are not uh, pulling, if something's not pulling power from them, it's going to shut off. Um, to save on itself, so I gotta work that out with a, a better a battery pack that's always gonna be on kind of thing. That's a different idea. Um, that's a five volt battery pack, and we get a little brighter LCD array. You can use just the three volts. I'll show you that in a moment here. Uh, how I have it connected is here's one of the reasons for the expansion board is that you need pins 19 and 20 because they are the I squared C pins and this is an I squared C device. So it's got four connections you've got to make um, and they tell you which ones they are. Uh, you can read inside of here. This pin should go to the SCL pin and that's going to be marked on there. Then this one's going to the SDA and then this is voltage, and then this one is ground. And then if you come look at the micro bit, maybe we can see it. Might be hard to see, but above 19, it says SCL, and above 20, it says SDA. I wonder if it says that on the back any better. Oh, yeah, it does on the back. So on the back, they've got this nice little silk screen of what all the pins are. So again, it says this is these two pins are for I squared C, I two C devices. That's I I C devices. And 19 is where you plug in what's called the SCL, which I can't remember what those are for. Those stand for. And pin 20, it says the SDA. Um, so that is one way to hook it up. So I've got those two pins hooked up. 1920, and then I've come over here on the IO bit for the 5 volt power to get it uh, some more power to get some more brightness. Now, as I said, sometimes you can plug the LCD into three. So I'll just take this back up here, plug that into the three volts that are coming off this um, row of pins, and I will just plug it into my laptop which again the micro bits only going to do three volts and you see the brightness has kind of changed and I can't really see the words but it's got a little adjustment here on the back so you need a Phillips and we can just get back to our message but it's not going to be as bright 5 volts is really going to, is really better for the brightness so again that's how you hook up a 1602 or 2004 lcd array i squared c devices you need pin 19 and 20 19 is the scl 20 is the sda and then the you need other two pins of power and ground and 5 volts is going to work best with this you're still going to see a little bit with three but Five is really better, and that's why we need uh, the kitten bot because one, we get at pins 19 and 20. You can't do that just on the microbit itself. And two, the kitten bot's going to let us get five volts. So there you go with a LCD array. I forgot to tell you one kind of important thing with the LCD array and make code. With the LCD array, you have to go get an extension that has LCD array blocks. And that extension is the MakerBit extension, which is a whole different expansion board. And of course, it's not going to go very... Oh, there we go. So I just got the whole MakerBit set of uh, blocks and it's all of these you can get them individually like there's the one for the lcd 1602 um, 
So I've already got it. And here it shows up as maker bit. And it's got all these other things you can hit. This is for the ultrasonic sensor. There's an IR remote. Here's for the LCD. So there are the blocks to make it easier to code. It's also got extensions for motors, pins, and touch points because the maker bit does touch points. But you need this to get the LCD blocks.